Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Montgomery and today we are back with another statue tutorial in continuation of the Star Wars series we will be doing today, Poe Dameron from The Force Awakens, the new Star Wars film that came out in December 2015. So, Poe was highly, highly requested by you guys. A lot of people have been requesting him as you'll want an X-Wing fighter pilot in your world, obviously. Um, and yeah, a pretty cool character and an interesting build. It took me a while to do because I did this one by myself. Um, but I think it pretty, turned out pretty nice. It has a lot of detail on it. And uh, I think it looks pretty realistic to him. So hopefully you agree. And if you do, then definitely let me know down in the comments below. And also, if you do enjoy this, then definitely consider leaving a like and subscribing down below if you haven't already. And uh, any constructive criticism is always appreciated, as I've previously said. Um, it helps improve the tutorials and lets me know what you do and don't like about them. So yeah, with that said, hopefully you do enjoy and I'll see you in the tutorial. Okay, so first off, we're going to start off by listing the blocks you'll need to build this tutorial and then we'll get straight on into actually building it. So you'll need the following blocks. You'll need sand stained clay, grey wool, black wool, red stained clay, red wool, stone, white wool, light grey wool, white stained clay, light grey stained clay, and also spruce logs. Alrighty, so if you want to grab them blocks into your inventory, that'll be great, and then we can grab a map as well, and that will help you count and just make your life a lot easier. Okie dokie, so starting off, we're going to start off with the legs. Now, this is 12 tall, 8 wide, um, and we're going to do it layer by layer, so 12 layers of 8. So, the first layer is 3 cyan stained clay, 2 black wool, 3 cyan stained clay. The second layer is free grey wool, two black wool, free grey wool, and then the next layer is one grey wool, one cyan, grey, two black, grey, cyan, grey. The fourth layer is free cyan, two black wool, and free cyan. So right now it should be four blocks tall, eight blocks wide, and that is the shoes. So if you want to pause here, again, you're more than welcome. Feel free to pause whenever you need to do so. Again, if it makes your life easier, that's always the intended effect. Um, so go ahead and do. Um, but yeah, now we're going to move on to the upper legs, which is going to be 8 tall and also 8 wide. Okay, so the first layer, or should I say the fifth layer in the legs in general, but the first layer of the upper legs is 3 red wool, 2 red stained clay, Three red wool. The next layer is one grey wool, two red wool, two stained clay, two red wool, one grey wool. The next layer is one cyan stained clay, one grey wool, one red wool, two red stained clay, red wool, grey wool, cyan stained clay. The next row is one red wool. One cyan, one red, two red stained clay, one red wool, one cyan stained clay, one red wool. The next layer is one red wool, black wool, one cyan stained clay, two red stained clay, one cyan stained clay, one black wool, one red wool. Again, feel free to pause whenever you need to do so. I'm going relatively slow, hopefully not too slow, um, but I'm trying to give you guys opportunity to pause, catch up if you need. The next row is two red wool, one grey wool, two red stained clay, one grey wool, two red wool. And then the final two layers is two red wool, a cyan stained clay, two red um, stained clay, one cyan, two red wool, and then we do the exact same again. So it's two red wool, one cyan, two red stained clay, one cyan, two red wool. So once you've done that, it will look something like this, and that is a 12 by 8 rectangle. So it's 12 tall, 8 wide. And to prove that to you, the map, you can see here the floor level in this case is Y5. So up here is Y17, and that's 12 levels higher than the floor. Again, your floor level may not be Y5, um, so just build up 12 blocks from your floor level. Okie dokie, so that is the legs complete. What we're going to do now is move on to the body and then the arms. 
So for the body, we're going to start off by placing one grey wool on either side. And then to the left side, this is where we're going to need our uh, white stained clay. We're going to go four to the left using white stained clay. And we're also going to go four to the right on the right side using white stained clay. And that's simply just to mark out where the arms start and the bottom of the hands. Now you can get rid of that because we're not going to be using it for now. Um, we're going to be doing the body and we'll come back to the arms later on in the video. So... For the body, what we're going to do, starting from left to right, we've got this one grey wool here, we're going to place one more. Then we have black wool, two grey, black wool, one grey. On top of that is eight stone, like so. And on top of that is eight red wool. Next, what we're going to do is place one red wool, one red stained clay, four red wool, red stained clay, one red wool. The next layer is one light grey, one white wool, one red stained clay, two red wool, red stained clay, white wool, light grey wool. The next layer is one light grey, two white, two red stained clay, two white, one light grey. And then next what we're going to do, on the left side and the right side, we're going to extend this light grey wool up six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Same on this side, one, two, three, four, five, six. It should link up like so. Then what we're going to do next to it, on this white wool here, we're also going to build up six white wool either side. So you should have something that's starting to look a bit like this. Then what we're going to do, in between the two white wall pillars either side, at the top we're going to place one red stained clay. We're then going to need our white stained clay, so we get white stained clay, we place two white stained clay, and then one red stained clay. And underneath the white stained clay we place two red stained clay like so, and then one red wall in either corner. That will then leave you with a 4x4 square, which we're then going to go ahead and fill in with white wall. And once you've done that, that is the basic... Um, structure of the front of the body complete. Now you may have noticed in the thumbnail that it's slightly different and that's because we're going to be adding some 3D effects but I'll talk about that in a second. For now we're going to work on the arms but again if you want to pause from here this uh, grey wall here up to this corner here is a 12 by 8 and again to prove in this case the floor level is Y5, Y29 that's 24 blocks up from the floor which means 12 by 8 for the body and also 12 by 8 for the legs. Again, feel free to pause whenever you need to do so, and we're now going to move on to the arms. So, we're going to start on the left arm, and first off, what we're going to do is come to the second block on the left, punch it out, and we're going to replace it with our light grey stained clay. We're going to need the white stained clay on the hot bar as well. So, the next row, again, we're working from left to right, is one white stained clay, two light grey, one white. The next two layers is four white stained clay. And on top of that, from left to right, we go one stone, one cyan, one grey, one stone. Next, what we're going to do, again, layer by layer, is one red stained clay, two red wool, one red stained clay. The next layer is four red wool. The next layer is one red stained clay, two red wool, one red stained clay. Next is one red stained clay, wool, clay, wool. The next layer is four red wool. The second to last layer is three red wool, one red stained clay. And then the final layer is one red stained clay, two red wool, and one red stained clay. So once you've done that, it looks something like that. That is a 12 by 4. And if you want to pause, again, you know you are more than welcome to do so. So essentially what we're going to do now is replicate that, or should I say mirror it, on the other side. So, of course, you can pause and do it yourself pretty easy, but I'm going to go, um, I guess, walk you guys through it, should I say, nevertheless. Okie dokie. So, moving over to this side, what we're going to do is go to the bottom right corner and to second block in. We're going to replace that with light grey stained clay. And on top of that, we're going to go up one and to the left one. Either side of that, we're going to place one white stained clay, and then we're going to place two rows of four white stained clay just above. And that is the hand area, which happens to be a 4x4 four four square. From left to right now, what we're going to do is on the fifth layer, place one stone, one cyan, one grey wall, one stone. The next layer is one red clay, two wool, clay. 
The next layer is four wool. The next layer is one clay, two wool, clay. The next layer is one wool, one clay, wool, clay. The next row is four wool. The next row is one clay, three wool. And then the final row is one clay, two wool, one clay. Once you've done that, it looks something like this. Again, it's the exact same as the uh, left side. So that's pretty easy and pretty self-explanatory. So anyways, for the 3D effect, that's what we're going to work on now. Um, essentially, it's like the... I say life jacket. It kind of re reminds me of a life jacket. It's like the fighter um, pilot suit um, that he wears when he is in the X-Wing. Um, so what we're going to start off by doing is going to this light grey at the bottom left corner here. And we're going to get our light grey wall. Get on our hotbar. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Up using light grey wall. And we're building this on top, by the way. So it's a 3D effect. We're going to do the exact same on the right side. So that's 7. So it should leave one block gap at the top. Then what we're going to do on either side is build a pillar of 8 white wall right next to it, so going in towards the middle. And then we go one to the left at the top and one to the right at the top. Next, what we're gonna do is right underneath this red wall here, we're gonna place one gray wall. We're gonna go down diagonal to side, up diagonal. And then down diagonal from this gray wall here, we're gonna place one black wall. To the right of this, we're gonna punch that one out and replace it with light gray wall and it should connect up perfectly like so. Next, what we're going to do is above this two grey wall here, we're going to place two white, and then we place one white either side, and then three white just below here. Just below this white on the left side that we just placed, we're going to place one grey wall. Below that, we're going to place one cyan, one black, one grey. We go to the right and place one cyan, down grey, down cyan, to the right grey, down cyan, to the right cyan. And it will look something like this. Now, the rest of it, all we're going to do is place four white wool right there, just in front of where the white wool already existing is. And it will give you something that looks like this, and that is your finished 3D effects complete. So I'm going to get rid of my arm, because I know that might throw a few of you guys off. Um, so if you want to pause, you know what to do. Um, and I'll leave that on the screen for a second, just to give you guys the perfect opportunity to catch up. Okie dokie, so with that said and done, hopefully you've got something that looks like that. If you haven't, then of course don't move on because you're just making your life much more difficult. So right now it should be 24 blocks tall, 16 wide, 8 wide if you're not including the arms. Um, each arm being 4 wide. And yeah, let's move on to the sides. So coming around to the left side, we're going to work on the side of the leg first. We're going to get our cyan stained clay and we're going to expand it backwards 1, 2, 3. We're then going to place a layer of 3 grey wall on top. And then from left to right, we place two grey, one light grey, and then on top of that, three cyan. So that's the shoes complete. Now, the side of the legs are four wide, but of course, we've already got this row here. So we're only placing three blocks on each row. In this case, we're going to be working from left to right. So the first layer of the trousers, I guess you could say, is three red wool. The next layer is one cyan stained clay, two red. And then the next... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six layers is just solid red wool. I had to count there for a second because I could not remember in my head uh, my mistake there. But yeah, once you've done that, it should look something like this. Again, that's 12 tall, four wide, and the other side is the exact same. So we're going to go head, uh, head around there, or we'll go around there, try to combine the two words um, and work it out over here. So what we're going to do, same as last time, is expand this one, two, three backwards using our cyan stained clay on top of that three grey wool, and then one light grey, two grey, and on top of that three cyan stained clay. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to place three red wool, then two red wool, one cyan, and then the next six rows is just simply red wool. Again, that's a 12 by 4 rectangle. Should look something like this. If you want to pause, you are more than welcome to do so. So, for the sides of the arms, again, very, very simple. What we're going to need, we are going to need our white stained clay. So, we're going to get that onto the hot bar. There we go. So, what we're going to do is come around to the back of the statue. 
and we're going to come to the white stained clay here and we're going to expand it backwards one two three all the way across like so and if you come below you'll see that's a four by four square of white stained clay come over to this side we're going to do the exact same one two three one two three one two three one two three and that makes a four by four square of white stained clay and that gives us the base platform for both arms okay so starting on the left arm what we're going to do the first layer is four white stained clay again i'm going to repeat it just in case some of you guys get confused each um side so in this case the side of the arm is four wide we've got this one row here so that's one block covered so we're only placing three blocks on each row so the first, second, third and fourth row is just solid white stained clay. So that's a 4x4 four four of white stained clay. The fifth row is one stone. Then we need two light grey. The next row is one red stained clay, two red wool. Next row is three red wool. And then for now it's just like mirroring on this side. So we have two red stained clay on top of that two red wool one red stained clay and then the two center blocks is just simply red wool once you've done that it will look something like this and again you know what i'm going to say so i'm not going to say it um just in case it's making you a bit fed up by now but just to really like make sure you're uh, listening and on the same point as what i'm at right now definitely make sure you are because otherwise it's just making your life more difficult and uh will confuse you which is never a good thing okay so for the right side what we're going to do exact same just simply do four layers of white stained clay on top of that two light gray wool one stone then we got two red wool one red stained clay the next layer is three red wool next one is two red wool red stained clay next one two red wool red stained clay next two rows is red wool and then we have two red wool one red stained clay once you've done that, that's a 12 by 4 should look something like this. And again, you know what to do. Okay, so with that said, we have now got the point where we've got a 3D, um, I guess, structure. We've got the sides built. But once you come around to the back side, you'll notice there is a big old empty area. So that's what we're going to work on filling in now. So, starting on the bottom of the legs, or the bottom of the back of the legs, should I say... We're going to come down to here. Of course, this is an 8 or 12 by 8, should I say. Uh, I was about to say 8 by 12, but it's 8 wide, 12 tall. Um, but, of course, we've got one block either side, so we're only placing six blocks in this case, so it's slightly different. So, working again layer by layer, what we're going to do, first layer is one cyan stained clay, four black wool, one cyan. The next row is two grey, two black, two grey. The next row is one cyan, grey, two black, grey, cyan. The next row is two cyan, two black, two cyan. The next row is two red, two red stained clay, two red wool. The next row is one grey, one red wool, two red stained clay, red wool, grey wool. The next row is one red wool. Cyan, two red stained clay, cyan, red wool. Then what we're going to do is, um, in fact, done that slightly wrong. It's actually cyan grey wool. I missed out the grey wool there. That was my mistake. And then on this side, it's grey wool cyan. Um, then what we're going to do, which is what I was going to say, is on top of this grey wool, we're going to build up five using cyan stained clay. And that will bring you to the top right there. And then in between that, we're going to build up five using red stained clay in the center post. And then the rest is just red wool. So we essentially just build up one, two, three, four, five using red wool. And that will fill in either gap and will give you something that looks like this. So again, apologies for that. I make a occasional mistake and that was one of them. Um, this one here is gray wool, not cyan. And then this is cyan. Okay, so that is the back of the legs complete. Now we can move on to the back of the body. So for the back of the body, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by placing one grey next to this white stained clay right there. We then go one cyan, one black wool, two stone, one black wool, one cyan, one grey wool. On top of that, we place one light grey, six stone, 
one light grey. On top of that, we place eight red wool. And on top of that, we're now going to uh, alternate it. So we do eight white wool. Then we do one stone. We need our light grey. That's light grey. Um, where's our white wool? So this row here, which I've just placed uh, light grey wool on by mistake, is white wool. This row of eight here, white wool. I placed white. Uh, I placed light grey. Yeah, light grey. Um, and then we're going to place four white. One light grey, one stone. The next row is eight white wool. The next row is one stone, light grey, four white, light grey, stone. So you can kind of see it's alternating now. The next row is eight white wool. Then we've got one stone, one light grey, four white, one light grey, one stone. The next two rows is eight white wool. And then the final row is one white wool. Then we need our red wool, six red wool, and one white wool. Once you've done that, it will look something like this. And we're going to go ahead and add a 3D effect just to make it look nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our light grey wool and right next to each light grey wool here we're going to place one light grey wool on top of the white wool like so and then in between that you'll notice there's a two block gap on each one we're going to place two stone. So once you've done that it will look like this you'll have three 3D effects which are all four wide um, and again it's just an extra detail to make it look nice. So with that said we can now move on to the back of the arms so for the back of the arms we're going to work on the left side first um, or the back of the right arm in this case again four wide but we've already got one block at the side so we're only placing three on each row so the first row is four white stained clay the second row need to get the correct blocks is one white stained clay one light gray one white and then next two rows is white stained clay next what we're going to do we need one light gray one gray one cyan the next row is one red wool, two red stained clay. The next row is two red wool, one red stained clay. The next two layers is three red wool. Then the next one is two red wool, one red stained clay. And we do that again. So that's two layers of that. And then the final row is three red wool. And that will look like this. Going over to the right side, again, exact same mirrored. So we're going to start off by placing one white stained clay, one light grey, one white, then two rows of three white. Should look like that. That's a four by four square. Then we go one cyan, one grey, one light grey, and then we got the one stone. Then we go two, re uh, two red stained clay, one red wall. Next row is one red stained clay, two red wool. Then we do two layers of three red wool. Then we go one red stained clay, two red wool, one red stained clay, two red wool, and then three red wool. Perfect. So, again, that's the back of the statue complete. I'll now get rid of my arm and uh, show you it in its entirety. So there you go. Again, 24 tall, 16 wide, 8 wide if you're not including the arms. And uh, we can go ahead and fill in the shoulders now. Alrighty, so for the shoulders, simply all we're going to do is go to the top here. And we're just going to fill in the whole area using red wool. Doesn't really matter um, about detail. Half it's going to be covered up by the head. Um, and in this case, we're just going to keep it nice and plain and simple. Okay, so with that said, that is the body complete. Um, so what I'm going to do. I know I just showed off the back side, but now I'm going to show off the whole body. So this is the front side of the legs, which is a 12 by 8. We've got the front side of the body, which is 12 by 8. Uh, front side of each arm, which is 12 by 4. Coming around to the left side, we've got the left side of the leg, 12 by 4. The left side of the arm, 12 by 4. We've got the right side of the leg, 12 by 4. The right side of the arm, 12 by 4. Coming around to the back side, we've got the back of the legs, which is a 12 by 8. The back of the body, which is a 12 by 8, and the back of each arm, which is a 12 by 4. The top side, we got just solid red wool, which is a 16 by 4, 16 wide, 4 deep. 
And uh, with that said, we can move on to the head. So we're nearly there, making good progress. Alrighty, so for the head, you will not need your red wall. You will not need your red stained clay. You will not need your stone. You will simply just need black wool, grey wool, um, white wool, white stained clay, and light grey wool. Uh, light grey stained clay, shall I say, and finally spruce logs. So these five blocks here, you will not need. You can chuck them away. Uh, do whatever you want with them. Simply, you'll need spruce logs, grey wool, black wool, white wool, white stained clay, and also light grey stained clay. Apologies if I sound really, uh, like, tired, by the way. It's because I am. Um, <laughs> it's because it's, like, nearly midnight. Um, and it's starting to catch up with me. So I'm going to try and wrap this tutorial up nice and swiftly. Okay, so again, what we're going to start off here is at the front side, so make sure at the front it's the side with this big 3D effect here, um, with the cable that comes down the body. We're going to go to the left corner here, to the red stained clay, and we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. On the fifth block, we're going to place it right on top of that light grey stained clay, or light grey wall, should I say, and then we are going to bring it two forwards, 1, 2. Go to the right side, we go 1, Two, three, four, five. On top of this light grey wall here, we place one white stained clay, bring it one, two forwards. We're then going to join them, so there'll be a six block gap in between, and we're going to do two rows of six to join them up nicely, like that. And that is an eight by two overhang, um, and we're going to mimic this on the back side. So we come around to the sides, and we expand it backwards one, two, three, four, five. And we do the exact same on the other side, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to link them together again by doing a row, or should I say two rows, of six white stained clay. Once you've done that, you've got a two um, block overhang at the front and the back, and that gives you an eight by eight square, which is the base of the head. Okay, so what we're going to do first is, of course, the face, so the front side of the head. So the first layer is simply eight white stained clay. The second layer is three white stained clay. Two light grey, um, three white stained clay. That's the light grey done. The next row is eight white stained clay. The next row is one white stained clay, one white wall, one spruce log. Make sure it's upright, by the way. You don't want it looking, uh, if I can demonstrate it better, you don't want it looking like this, where you have the texture of the log you want it facing upwards so you have the side like the bark of the log then you do two white stained clay spruce log one white wall one white stained clay the next row is one white stained clay two black wool two white stained clay two black wool one white stained clay the next two layers is eight white stained clay and then the final layer is four black wool, one grey wool, and three black wool. Once you've done that, it will look something like this. This is an 8x8 square, and uh, it's got the basic hairline. What we're going to do now is add the 3D effects and uh, make it look a tad nicer. So starting off, we go to the top right corner. We're going to place one grey wool on top of that, and then we go one to left, and then down diagonal to right using your black wool, and that gives you three blocks in a corner like so. We then go over to the left side, we leave one block, we place one black, one grey, one black. The row below that, we go down diagonal, place one black, one grey, one black. And right underneath this grey block here, we place one black, and that is his hairline. So that is the front of his face. If you want to pause, you are more than welcome to do so. And then we're now going to move around to the left side of his head. So, for the left side, once you come around, you're presented with something that looks like this. First off, what we're going to do is replace this white stained clay next to the black wall with black wool, and it will look like that. We're then going to go down diagonal to side one using grey wool, to side one using black wool, down diagonal, down twice, and then to the right one. We're then going to go down diagonal from here to the left, and to the left twice. And then punch out this white stained clay at the end and replace it with black wool. And that should give you a shape that looks like this. We're then going to proceed on the left end to build up one, two, three, four, five, six, and then link together like so. So that essentially gives you a template for the hair and the skin. In the skin area, we simply just place white stained clay. 
So it looks like this. And then for the hair area, we simply just place black wool. But it's not that simple. Surprise. Um, what we're going to do is get our grey wool. And we're going to come to the bottom left corner. We go up diagonal and up one. Punch it out. Up diagonal to right. And we're going to replace this with grey wool. We then, on top of this one, we go up two. Leave these two blocks. Punch out two. And there should be a one block gap from the top. And we replace these two blocks with grey wool. And then finally, from this one here, we go up diagonal to left. Replace it with grey wool. That is it. It's nice and simple. And the other side is very, very similar. Um, but I'll talk you guys through it nevertheless. So coming around to the right side, again, it is very similar. This time, in fact, I'll do it layer by layer um, because it might be easier for some of you guys. So if you didn't understand that side, um, this side is technically slightly different. But if you want to do it layer by layer, you can mimic it. It's not, it's not that much of an issue. Uh, just for reference, that's what this side looks like. And then for this side, what we're going to start by doing, again, just replace that with black wool. For the first layer, again, we're going to go to the far right corner, replace that one with black wool. We're then, from right to left, this time, we're going to place three black wool, four white stained clay. Next row is one black wool, one grey wool, three black wool. Next row is one black wool, grey wool, two black. And in fact, I forgot the two white stained clay and then the three white stained clay. The next row is two black wool, one grey wool, one black wool, three white stained clay. The next row is five black wool, one light grey, or not light grey, grey, sorry. I can't, I, I don't know what's going on. Um, and then one black wool. The next row is one black wool, grey wool, two black, one grey, two black. And then the final row is six black, or seven black, in fact. Yes, yeah, seven black. And once complete, it would look something like this. Again, apologies if I'm mistaking colours. It is really late at night. Um, so hopefully you guys can forgive me. But a lot of you guys have been requesting this video. And uh, I thought I'd try and get out there as soon as possible. Rather than delaying it, which is always the last resort. So with that said, that is the left side or the right side. And then this is the left side of the head. So coming back to the back side ahead, what we're going to start by doing is replacing this first row with solid black wool. You can leave this row here of uh, white stained clay because that can act as the neck, so it doesn't really matter. So what we're going to do is simply just build up seven all the way across using black wool. So make a solid 8x8 square of black wool. And we're going to punch in the details afterwards. Okay, so there you go. That's your 8x8 of solid black wool. So for the details, what we're going to do is start from the bottom right corner, and we go up diagonal, punch it out, up one. We're then going to leave a two block gap to the left of the bottom block here. So two block gap, and then punch it out, up diagonal, punch it out. We're then going to go up two to the left one, punch out one out. Two to right, so leave two block gap, punch out, up diagonal, up. And then we go two block gap to the left, and then punch this one out like so. You then go ahead and fill in all these using your grey wool. I know I explained that super, super fast, um, but hopefully just by looking at it in a second, right there, you'll be able to figure out just about where everything goes. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, if not, feel free to comment down below, and I'll try and help you out as much as possible. And that goes for everything I build. If you ever need any more personalized support, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll try and offer that to you as much as possible. Okie dokie. So this is the top of the head, what it looks like so far. What we're then going to do is fill this in with black wool, so solid black wool, and then we're going to do the exact same as we did on the back side where we're going to fill in the details, or punch out the details should I say, and uh, fill it in. So what we're going to do is go to the top left corner, go in diagonal, punch this one out, we're then going to go to the top right corner, we go in diagonal to left one, punch it out, bring it forwards one, we place two grey wool right about there. We're then going to leave a one block gap coming towards us, punch this one out, replace it, go diagonal to the right, and uh, place one right there. Here, what we're going to do in this black uh, wall gap here, we go one to the left, leave the gap, punch this one out, go diagonal, forwards, diagonal to the uh, to side to the left, should I say, and then forwards. And once you've done that, replace it with grey wall, and that is it, that is complete. And uh, you have finished your Poe Dameron statue. 
So, let me grab the, um, or clear my hotbar, should I say. Let me get rid of my arm. I'll do a little spin around about the uh, head. So, bear in mind again, it's an 8x8x8 eight 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 cube. Uh, so, 8 tall, 8 wide, 8 thick. Uh, this is the front side, the face, with the 3D effects. We come around to the left side. This is the left side of the head. We've got the rear side of the head, the right side of the head, and also the top of the head. Okie dokie. So again, if you struggled throughout any of this tutorial, then definitely let me know down in the comments below. Constructive criticism is always appreciated. Um, it helps me to improve the tutorials in the future. So with that said and done, if you did enjoy, definitely consider leaving a like, subscribe down below if you haven't already. A lot of work went into this design as well as the tutorial. Um, and again, this is like really late at night. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it enough for it to be worth um me feeling extremely tired um but anyways with that said and done i'm gonna head off to bed now so uh hopefully you did enjoy until next time my name's been tom ogami thank you for watching and goodbye